Hi, I'm Chase. I'm 17, and this is my mom, Glennon Doyle. And Chase and I are here coming to you from his bedroom to propose to you an action today that will only take you five minutes but could change the world. So here's the info. Young people, as more than one third of eligible voters, have the power to determine the outcome of this election, and we are the most diverse and educated group ever. Yes, young people make up more than one third of eligible voters. In this election, millennials count for 27 of percent of eligible voters and Gen Z counts for 10 percent and Gen Zers like Chase are the most racially and ethnically diverse generation ever. 48 percent of the population are people of color and 22 percent of Gen, Gen Z have at least one immigrant parent. They are also on track to become the best educated generation ever. So this generation has the numbers, the education, and the personal experience to know that this election is not about a choice, it's about an emergency. They are passionate about improving their country and world, and we need to get them the information that they need. The problem is we're not getting that information, and research has shown that the best way to get young people to vote and give them more information is to reach out to them and personally ask them if they have a voting plan. Yes, reach out to them. The research shows that only 13% of youth are reached by traditional campaigns, so they, all, they often don't have the very basic information they need about how to register and where to vote. So we cannot wait for them to figure out this very purposefully confusing system on their own. So today my mom and I are asking you to commit to this one thing, to reach out to three young people you know and personally ask them if they have a voting plan. Yes. Yes. And Chase. <laughs> and Chase, when you do, when you do reach out to those three people, make sure they know these four things. Okay, this is what we need millennials and Gen Z to know, that you as young Americans have the power to determine the results of the most consequential election in our lifetime, right? Mm -hmm. You do the next one, Chase. Okay, um, number two, if you're going to, to, to vote, you have to be registered and very soon, uh, depending on your state, you can go to IWillVote.com or text we can do hard things all caps, one word, to the number 26797. Um, and that will help you register and check your registration status um, and get updates on when and where to vote. That's right. And also, if you are a college student, you can choose where you want to vote. Um, if you're a college student living on campus, you have a unique choice about you can make about where to vote. You can choose to register to vote in your home state or at school since you have dual residency. If you decide to register in your home state, you may need to sign up for an absentee ballot. If you decide to register on campus, you should do it very soon because registration deadlines are right around the corner. And don't forget, Gen Z and millennials, that many states are allowing early and in-person voting. So you can go um, to I Will Vote and find out that information and you don't have to stand in lines on election days, right? Right. Yes. We can do hard things. Like, make sure millennials and Gen Zers know we have their backs and have the voting information they need. We believe in you guys. I am one of you, and we're all ready, and we're here to help. Woo-woo! Thank you, baby. Of course.